Hello and welcome to another Overlord Law video and today we are going to take a look at the Hansos that accompanied Einzulgon on his friendly visit to the Dwarf Kingdom. But before we are going to do so, let me thank my Patreons for supporting this channel. Furthermore, I say thanks to all users of the YouTube thanks function who made one-time donations. Also please check out my fantasy channel, it's linked in the description. And with that said, let's dive into the video, and we will start with the nature of the Hanzos. They are obviously inspired by the legendary Japanese shinobi of the same name. Just like for example Hanzo of the Salamander from Naruto and a lot of other stealthy characters in anime and games for that matter. And Yggdrasil Online was no exception to this rule, because Hanzos were available to the Great Tomb of Nazarick back then and even now as so-called mercenary NPCs. And mercenary NPCs could be summoned with the aid of summoning scriptures or books that are still stored in Ashibarnupal, the great library of Nazarick. But while they have ten times more books of summoning than gold in the treasury vault, the books specifically needed to summon the Hansos have already run out. But other similar summons, more specialized in other things such as hand-to-hand -hand combat or melee weapons, and so on and so forth are still available. But the reason why the Hansos were so eagerly picked up by Eins is their stealth abilities. They can sneak in anywhere and therefore act as scouts and as powerful level 80 beings they are also far beyond the normal beings of this world and therefore Eins had little to no fear that their own stealth abilities might be insufficient. But they also have another use because they are all blessed with great counter-stealth abilities, so they can see through the disguises, for example of Gondo Firebeard and other hidden beings with lower stealth abilities. But Aura is still a bit… better in this department. And of course, since there are 5 of them accompanying Eins, and since they are all level 80, they also count as an escort, for after Sheltier was being mind controlled, Eins established a new rule that requires every single floor guardian to only venture out with a strong escort of multiple high level beings. That's also the reason why Eins summoned um, the Cherubian gatekeepers, the legendary angels that were a bit downgraded in the anime. Also please remember that Eins suspects a hostile group of players or an entire guild behind the attack on Shaltier. Attack on Shalt here would be a great anime. So therefore even a floor guardian with a world class item might not be strong enough to defend himself or to make an escape. And lastly Eins, in order to have someone to talk to, randomly selected one of the Hansos and gave him an armband in order to identify their leader, in order to identify him as the leader of the group, which filled the heart of the selected Hanzo with extreme pride and Eins with a bit of discomfort. And in the end the Hansos were so excellent that some complaints about them being always picked above all other beings in the Great Tomb of Nazarick has reached Albedo and therefore she advised Eins against taking them with him on his trip to the Elf Kingdom. And with that said, I say thank you very much for watching, thanks to all of my Patreons for supporting this channel and anyway have a nice day.